Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, I'm glad to meet you all on this online platform. The topic that we have for today's meditation is waiting upon the Holy Spirit, an invitation to surrender, anticipate and serve. So as we gather here in the presence of our Lord today, it is a journey that we are called upon of our spiritual discovery and renewal as we dwell into the profound topic of waiting upon the Holy Spirit. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it is easy to lose sight of the transformative power that comes from the patiently seeking the guidance and empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Yet through the pages of scripture, we find numerous accounts of faithful men and women who waited upon the Lord and experienced His mighty work in their lives. Today, we will explore the timeless wisdom found in Isaiah chapter 40 verses 25 to 31. Acts chapter 1 verses 1 to 11 and Luke chapter 24 verses 44 to 49. As we seek to understand the significance of waiting upon the Holy Spirit in our own lives, let us open our hearts and minds to receive God's word with humility and expectancy, trusting that He will speak to us and lead us into a deeper relationship with Himself. So firstly, we will look into trusting in God's sovereignty. In Isaiah chapter 40 verses 25 to 31, we witness the prophet's exhortation to trust in the sovereignty of God. Despite life's uncertainties, God remains steadfast and unchanging. In the passage, we witness the prophet Isaiah proclaiming the greatness and sovereignty of God. He contrasts the incomparable nature of God with the frailty of humanity, highlighting that no one can compare the Almighty. Isaiah invites the people to lift their eyes and behold the majesty of God, who sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, holding all creation in his hand. This passage then shifts to a message of hope and encouragement for those who wait upon the Lord. Isaiah reassures the people that those who trust in God will find renewed strength. He uses vivid imagery to depict the transformative power of waiting upon the Lord, likening into the soaring of eagles, running without growing weary and walking without fainting. This is a powerful reminder that we will place our trust in God and patiently wait upon Him. He will produce us with the strength and endurance needed to navigate life's challenges. Imagine a mighty eagle soaring high above the storm, its wing outstretched, effortlessly riding the currents of the wind. Like the eagle, when we wait upon the Holy Spirit, we gain the strength to rise above life's challenges and soar on the wings of faith. Let us surrender our anxieties, fears and uncertainties to God, trusting in His perfect timing and unwavering love as we wait upon the Holy Spirit. May we find the renewed strength to persevere in faith and hope. Anticipate the promise of the power, which we see in Acts chapter, Acts chapter 1 verses 1 to 11. Recounts the disciples' anticipation of the Holy Spirit promise. Jesus instructs them to wait in Jerusalem until they receive the power from on high. This passage marks as the beginning of the book of Acts, written by Luke as a continuation of his gospel account. Here Luke provides a brief summary of the events following Jesus' resurrection and his interaction with the disciples during the 40 days before his ascension. Jesus appears to the disciples and speaks to them about the kingdom of God, instructing them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of Father the Holy Spirit. He reminds them of John the baptizer's prediction of baptism with the Holy Spirit and assures them with the them that they will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon them, enabling them to be his witness in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to ends of the earth. As Jesus ascends into heaven, the disciples are left gazing into the sky. Two angels appear and remind them Jesus will return in the same way they saw him go. This passage sets the stage for the coming of the Holy Spirit. At Pentecost, the Pentecost and underscores the importance of waiting upon the Lord in praying and expectancy for the empowering presence of the Holy Spirit. In both the passages, 
we see a common theme of waiting upon the Lord with the trust and expectancy. Isaiah encourages us to find the strength in God's sovereignty, while Acts reminds us of the promise of power through the Holy Spirit. Together, these passages are a powerful reminder of the transformative power of waiting upon the Holy Spirit in our lives. Consider a seed planted in the fertile soil, eagerly awaiting to be nourished in rain that will enable it to grow and flourish. Similarly, as we wait upon the Holy Spirit, we anticipate the overpowering and outpouring of His power that will enable us to bear fruit in our lives and ministries. Let us cultivate a posture of expectancy and anticipation, eagerly awaiting the Holy Spirit's power to equip us for God's purpose. May we open our hearts to receive His empowering presence, allowing Him to work in and through us accomplish His will. Let us look into the gospel passage which commissions for kingdom service. Luke 24, 44-49 depicts Jesus' commissioning his disciples for kingdom service. He opens their minds to understand the scripture and empowers them to be witness of his resurrection. In this passage, we find Jesus appearing to his disciples after his resurrection, providing them with understanding and clarity regarding the scriptures and their role in God's redemptive plan. Firstly, Jesus opens their minds to understand the scriptures, specifically the Old Testament prophecies concerning his suffering, death and resurrection. He finds them see how everything that happened to him was foretold in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. This revelation would have been essential for the disciples to comprehend the significance of his death and the resurrection in light of God's overarching plan of salvation. Jesus then commissions his disciples to be witness of these things. He instructs them to preach repentance and forgiveness of sin in his name beginning from Jerusalem and extending to all nations. This commissioning emphasizes the universal scope of the gospel message and the disciples' crucial role in spreading it to the ends of the earth. However, Jesus also acknowledges that they are not yet equipped for this task. He tells them to wait in the city until they are clothed with the power from on high. This reference to the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost underscores the necessity of divine empowerment for effective ministry. The disciples would need the indwelling presence and power of the Holy Spirit to fulfill their commission and bear witness to the risen Christ boldly. This passage encapsulates the essence of Christian discipleship. Understanding the scriptures, proclaiming the gospel and relying on the empowering presence of the Holy Spirit. It reminds us that our faith is grounded in the testimony of scripture. Our mission is to proclaim the message of salvation to all and our ministry is empowered by the Holy Spirit. Envision a lamp shining brightly in the darkness, illuminating the path for the others and dispelling the shadows of fear and doubt. When we wait upon the Holy Spirit, we are empowered to shine the light of Christ in the darkened world, pointing out towards the hope and the salvation found in Him. Let us embrace our call to be witness of Christ's love and truth, empowered by the Holy Spirit to spread the gospel to all nations. May we boldly step out in faith, allowing the Holy Spirit to guide us all as we proclaim the message of salvation and reconciliation to the world in need. As we come to the end of our time together today, may we carry with the profound truth that we have encountered with about waiting upon the Holy Spirit. Through our expectation of scripture, we have been reminded of the importance of surrendering to God's sovereignty, eagerly anticipating the promise of his power and embracing our commission for kingdom service. Let us not forget that as we wait upon the Holy Spirit, we are not passive bystanders, but active participant in God's divine plan for redemption and renewal. As we leave this sacred place, may we continue to cultivate and posture of faith and expectancy, trusting that God is at work in our lives and in our world around us. May we wait upon the Holy Spirit with eager hearts, knowing that He will renew our strength, empower us for kingdom work and lead us into the deeper relationship with our Heavenly Father. Let us go forth as ambassadors of Christ, empowered by the Holy Spirit, to shine His light in darkened world, proclaiming the good news of salvation to all who hear. 
May our lives be a testament to the transformative power of waiting upon the Holy Spirit as we seek to glorify God in all that we do. May God enable us with the Spirit and strengthen us to carry forward the mission that is in our hand. May God bless you and enable you. Amen.